Microphone check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. My mic, all right? I'm good. Shout out to the squad in here. Um, squad, squad, squad. Hiller Bay, Hilly Bay Hill, baby. Podcast Bay. Um, Podcast Bay. Oh, I'm going to check it out. I like that. Mm. Come on, y'all know we be snapping in here. We got on, Pig behind snap. the cameras today. Hey, Pig. Shout out to my Yo. guy. Shout out to the bros in here. Pull up clutch. Thank you. Uh, Monique. Is in the building on the screen as Hello. always on the hookah and you know what I'm saying she turned it up. Hey, we got Jew. No, nah, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got Alex in the good. building now. Yeah, producer yeah. slash yeah. engineer slash whatever. And Jewel was here. Jewel, so are we? Is, is, we is, are. Is, is Jewel the, the, the new? Jewel is the, the new co-producer. Wow. Period. Let's go. So I, I like Jewel. I don't, even, I don't even like. I like good energy. I could feel it when I walk through the door because you know I get the fucking saging uh-huh. at the door. Ah, I don't like that being Jay. Mm-mm. I don't like so. I, don't I don't, like that. I honestly, so I honestly, and, and, and again, this is going to be with the agreement of the team. I don't really like the term co-producer. I just, Can we just do producer and producer? Female facts. producer, male producer. No, just producer. All right, producer. Our Put producers yeah, with the S on it, plural. Our producers, we got Jewel, Jewel and, and Alex. Alex. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Gang, I like gang, that. Gang, gang, gang. I like that. Um, sheesh. This it's, week was pretty s- solid. Yeah, week? this week was cool. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was you pretty productive. You wasn't on no bullshit this week? Motherfucker, you wasn't on no, no bullshit this nah, week. Nah, you be on some bullshit. It was an easy week today. Jay was trying to pick, but I wasn't with that shit. I was in my bag all week. Nah, productive. You, so we you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to a, a great week of relationshipness. Okay, we snapping. When does that usually happen? Never! <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a relationship, you gotta be it's at least some once shit. a week. Yeah, once a week. <laughs> what is the normal for date uh, for beefing in a relationship? Like what do you think? Like honestly, how I, many arguments in a like how many arguments in a month? I think once a week? So four arguments a month? Just as much just as much as time just as much as we have sex. Cause when you're in a relationship, I feel like it goes from like ten times a week to once a week. Facts. Niggas be busy in this motherfucking house. I don't know how much times y'all fucking, but nigga, I be busy. Wait, so, <laughs> no, but, huh? So is it a certain amount of time you should have sex? Maybe that's why. Wait, a, okay, hmm. a certain amount. I feel like I, I think ain't, okay. So girls I, be horny as shit. They want to do it all all the time. Like yo, relax, my nigga. I'm tired. Like no, like cats. Just like Jay horny. always oh, fucking tired. Oh, oh, oh. Like <laughs> back the fuck up. Like God damn. Oh, like, <laughs> Sorry, but you know, like, whatever, nigga. So, you know, I do think that when you, when y'all are busy couples, like when y'all are really in your bag, like everybody's working, everybody has something going on, sex is just not one a necessity anymore. It's, you know, I think the emotional support becomes a necessity more than the sex. I think it changed though, because at first I wasn't really trying to have sex a lot. Now I be trying. Fuck, I be ready. You be looking good, but you be looking like a motherfucker. You see, you see my silk hair. Shout out to Monique on the hair too. You know our team just does everything. Facts. You know what I'm saying? The team mm. just does everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She be doing hair and shit too. She, Monique does hair all natural. What is all it? Pink natural. celebrity on, on Instagram. And pink shit? celebrity. Yeah, make sure you follow, follow her. Get, get your little wigs. Get your natural. Though, you know no natural hair. She did do my wig, oh, but oh. natural hair. Don't touch me, because he's been talking about taking my wig off a couple like, times, uh, and I'm getting really excited because I feel like it's, I feel like it's coming, and I keep like every time he around, I be like. I'm trying. Like, I'm trying. I'm yeah, trying to get that. Yeah, she's about to get all my natural I'm hair. I'm trying to put the she... grease in my hand. Put it between the no. the, the, the braids. Like one time we did have sex, he was like, "Babe, your wig almost fell off." Like he was excited or some shit. I'm trying, like, like roll he want to make braids. a wig porno. Like you know, niggas just a wig porno dedicated to snatching your. Nah, wigs. braids. You know what I'm saying? Put it through the braids. Like that's gay. That ain't so. <laughs> period. That was, was kind of wild. Yeah. yeah, that was wild. You're wild. Boom. So reflection. You know, great week. Um. Only thing I came Y'all up. You don't have to tell him. Like, you no, no, like, only... this is for flexion. I like that. This is I'm... this or that. Like, you be walking I like it. Man. Okay, go do that. He always, because he on the radio, he don't like anything that sounds like a promotion. However. Like, she be trying to like, this, at this moment, we are doing our reflection. I'm it's trying like, to be clear so that people let them know, know what's going they on. Gonna, they... This is reflection. Right, you are, you got it. Okay? You got it. So, what I'm trying to say is, the only conclusion I had this week is don't have no fucking kids. Mm. All right? I had Let's five girls over here. My nigga. Five preteens, and I fucking tell you right now, they don't stop talking, they don't stop arguing, and they don't stop dancing, because it just was lit in here the whole weekend. My nigga, I cooked and breakfast, and I'm like, yo, just First of all, let me, let's talk about that, because so Jay wanted to act like making breakfast was the end of the fucking world, and I just knew right there, that's when I knew men could never stand 10 feet I in a could. woman's shoes every day for well, the well, year. No, no, Hell no. No, no, no. This nigga complained about making 
turkey sausage and egg sandwiches. Because them little devils was fucking crazy. <laughs> like, them motherfuckers running rampant around here. Like, yo, sit the fuck down. Calm your fucking nerves. I, he didn't like, even give him no pl- presentation. The nigga Jay took two plates, slapped the egg, slapped the turkey, put the biscuits. All right, y'all, get your jelly. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, you know what I'm saying? damn, give him five plates, you know, put the biscuits over here, spread the jelly for him. No. He was like, hell nah. So they were over there looking like little pigs in the mud, putting they sandwiches together but you did a great job babe you did a great job he did leave my food out I, it took him an hour to remake my food i was starving but you know you did great uh you are the real mvp after you just talk all that shit i'm just saying i just wanted to point out some things but you know we all could do better i know but i remember respect, yo, woman, job. uh, woman jobs are hard as fuck like yo like that shit be blowing me and then you know how you come on you want to eat and your, your girlfriend i mean if your girlfriend cook hopefully you don't, you don't got that struggle, but I don't have that struggle. But like, if a girl cook, she's like, no, no, no. I gotta make sure the kitchen clean. Hate cooking I gotta in ki- a dirty I gotta uh, wash no. the dishes. No, I, and, and I'm telling these niggas, I keep telling these niggas every day, y'all want me to cook? If there's a fucking plate in the sink, I'm not cooking because it's too much work. Mm. It's too much work. I can't cook, clean, then gotcha. clean after I cook. Period. No, it's okay. hard. All right, all right. It's hard work. I, okay. So what I will say is shout out to my woman because like I ain't gonna lie, like you trying to clean, you trying to cook at the same damn time, and I'm just like, yo, look, I'm gonna need somebody washing this is why I cook. But let it, but then when it's my turn, what are you tired for? You're superwoman. What do you mean you can't wash and cook? Do it, get it done. But now he do it. Now it's like I need somebody to wash the gate. No, you know, snap, Monique, because you know you got to remind them because you That's know Jewel over there. they just. Right there. Oh, Jewel, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the first time I got Not so many Alex, women in the room. <laughs> Y'all don't know how many times I've sat in here with all males. This feels amazing. It's about to get real bitchy in this motherfucker. <laughs> Bitchy, you know what I'm saying? It's about to get real. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. crazy and, and, and in here. The, let's talk about this real quick. In the comments, the only reason that people be on your side is because girls care enough to comment. Niggas will give no, a No, niggas be commenting. Niggas it's been big care. niggas like, that be, be like, be, be no, big. I've seen niggas say wild shit and J-Con J be like, yeah, that's horror behavior. I be like, <gasps> like damn. You know because y'all be on your best thoughts. No, shit. they be in there. They be in there cutting up just as much. I feel you, bro, because bitches, I feel you. I be like, shut your ass up. Are you ready to go only talk to the male? Like, shut up, because you don't even know. Period. Who? I got a little angry. Okay. <laughs> A little woosah, woosah, woosah. Can we get into the I can podcast? breathe and Jay calls me angry. As soon as I wake up, I, I just wake up. What's wrong with you? You don't got to be so angry. Because you wake fucking, up like, what the I didn't even get to like, like, brush my teeth. No, face. because let me tell you why. Jay has to ask me, him and Amaya ask me 10 things soon as my eyes open. Where's my wallet? Where's my shoe? Where's my jacket? Where I don't fucking know. But that's what I girl, don't know. That's what girlfriends are for. But you know. can't even wash dishes and cook at the same time. That's not, all right. Okay. Let's get now, into the podcast. Podcast. Let's get into Hello. it. Let's get so into it. we are here. You got to go first because I've gone first the last two times. And, you know, I need to catch my wine up before I get into my topic. All right. I want to talk about, um, yo, taking taking advice from other people while you're in a relationship. Mm. Mm. Is it a rule to that? Is it a um, certain amount to that? Or should you just not do it, period? Not taking no advice from no single people. Mm. Period. Not. So you're taking advice? Not. My nigga, I told Shadi I had a, a group chat with men, with, with my friends. They be with, talking shit in there. I with, ain't with see girlfriends, it, but I know they you do. know what I'm saying? Like, I know they do. And she was so Tip mad. Here. I she know was, they do. She was so mad, like, yeah, like, I don't want you talking to them no, about my No, because I know I said, don't like, be telling my personal business. I sent Jay, he tells me he sends this text to the group chat. He was like, I was trying to get advice, so I sent this text. I'm in there talking about we didn't have sex all week. And you, I'm like, you telling your niggas we ain't have sex all week? We like, like we, the fuck? That's what we talking then, about. Then, then a friend gonna come in there, yeah, cause my bitch fucked me ten times a day. Then you gonna be like, damn, something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not taking no friend, no advice from no single friends. And I'm gonna tell you why. Cause when my friends are single and a nigga done did them dirty, them bitches is bitter. They be like, mm, because I'm trying to tell you, niggas ain't shit, girl. Cause you never know what they doing. You know, niggas got double lives. He could be here and he could be there. Like they start, they start saying wild shit. I be like. Then you get the thinking, so you know I just don't. Niggas be hating all the time. Like, Girls do be hating. You gotta be careful. Niggas will, see niggas won't niggas won't really be hating, bro. Like we be like, nah. I, I will say I, that. Give I my, agree. I, I agree. give my best advice when I'm going through some shit. They keep it honest. Like I'll be I'll be mad at shit at y'all. Day. And one of my homies come like, yeah, cause my girlfriend is and here I come. Nah, man, you gotta work through it, man. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a job. That's because he's trying to convince himself. Facts. I, but I ain't gonna lie, he's man. trying to like. 
That's my way of like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'll, I'll be like, you know what, yo? You got you to gotta work through it, you know what I'm saying? You can't look at all these memes all the fucking time because yeah. that shit going to drive you through the wall. You really got to just take some time for yourself and then go back and tell her you what love What about her. advice from your parents? Mm. I'm trying to tell you. Because think- my mom be bitter than a motherfucker too. Anytime, I can't, I don't even complain to my mom because my mom's single. She does her thing by herself. The first thing my mom see, that's why I can't have no man and I live no man. I'm like, you miserable. <laughs> Not <laughs> so my much mom. you can't have no man. <laughs> I don't want nobody in my house touching my stuff. Mm-mm. If I complain about the house, man, see, that's why I live by myself. I'm like, damn, ma, like, what the fuck? <laughs> she like, mm-mm, that's why I live by myself because I can't. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, should I live by myself? It's like, no, nah, I think um, I mean, I don't know. My mom is pretty uh, like, like she's pretty good at wearing both sides. She don't Tim, be just... it's like bright as shit over here. Say, go ahead. What? You funny as shit. Hey, Joey, my mom's don't. My mom's don't be on no like. She don't take nobody's side. She all the shit you just did that day. Oh my she, god. She she never she never was like. Nah, I don't like her because. She never did none of that. First of all, Jay's mom didn't like me in the beginning. She so never, don't start. My mom never not like me. Jay the ever. mom. Jay, Jay, I took you to see my mom's. I remember you the, yeah, yeah. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. no she's, I didn't say she wasn't a solid, lovely lady. I said Jay's mom loves her son. And Jay, yeah, she, she would rather him just. No, she likes you. It's just she's straightforward. And I feel like you have a problem with people being straightforward. Oh, wow. Hmm. Uh, and maybe that's a, a woman thing. Because like. Am I out to am I or something that she just started I'm very crying, like, straightforward. I mean, nah, it's not about men. Oh, like taking straightforward? Yeah, like, I can't explain you say, say it to me. You gotta say it at an appropriate level. You gotta be nice. Because if you don't say it nice, then I'm like, what you say? Oh, okay. You be more, <laughs> she be love to disrespect niggas' parents. No, like. what the what the where did that come from? I do not disrespect parents. Oh, look, all my that, ex niggas' moms love me to this day. To this day. Oh, so Vicky, you put that oh, you meme in here oh. to this day. So you the so so you the you the you the type that still hit up your ex's no, no, parents no, no, like no, that's no. just they still... still will hit me up occasionally. Hey, you look lovely. Love what you're doing. I'm like, yeah, fuck you and your son. No, you don't, cause you still. They just love nah, me to I this don't, day. I don't. No, I don't. They answer. love me to this no, day, and do. I love them. They, and no, it's I boring. Didn't say I love I you. Love them. You, you just love made me. that up. We're a big happy family. No, you made that up, Big Barney. Yeah, I didn't say that. I said they love me. I just don't answer. I've had, you know, a couple hits, like, I hope you're doing well, you know? Yeah, fuck Future all y'all. Future meme. Yeah, yeah let me you know, tell you with something. the you know coronavirus coming on, I just want to think, say I'm thinking about you, like, <laughs> hear that shit. Oh. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> niggas sweat it. Like, niggas, no. first of all, it went So from- here's the thing. So, no, because I'm a firm believer in, yo, once you dead a nigga, you got to dead they family. Because let me tell you something. But they you just will, say how no, you love No, how- whoever is current to their son or their nephew at that time, that's who they love. Like, so fuck out of here. Oh, that should be fake. Because just let it be whole. Because let me tell you, I didn't forget how your mom confused me for your ex-girlfriend. She was like, oh, how's, uh, and he was like, um, oh, I'm not with her anymore. And I was like, oh. Well, she do that. In the beginning of our relationship. I mean, but you she know, some, a couple people can't to me. Well, one person in particular is like, you, you no. got a type type shit. Yeah. I mean, no. you probably scam with them all, you know what I'm saying? Don't look nothing alike. What the fuck? With what? The fuck? The fuck? Because if I say, now, nah, if I come over here and say some wild shit, Jay gonna get angry, right? If I say, I mean, you're not my type, but I love, you know what I'm saying? You is who But I mean, I honestly, like. keeping it 100, I mean. What? I feel like my track record is way better than yours. You don't shit. know mine. I seen it. No, you don't. You seen two. I seen the no, ones that don't. I seen your ex, I seen your baby father. Like, what are you talking about? No. no. So, oh, so you was, so, no. right. So let's get back to this thought conversation. So basically, your track record said, is not your boyfriends. Because first of all, you said you, you said only my had track, three boyfriends. I did. So if you only had three boyfriends. I dated, oh, make, though. So How many times we got to be on here? So I said only, I dated. So I'm talking my track record, my girlfriends, right? So let's, oh. let's, let's, let's reel it back in. So basically. Wait, hold on. You only had three girlfriends, right? The first joint, nah. nah. She look good. She look nah. good. Baby boy, nah. She look good. Right. She look, I uh, no. Yeah. She looks, I uh, no. Nah, she nah. I mean, she got a little no. chubby now, but she's and right. a huge ass gap. The fuck. I mean, I'm not sorry. a gap. I mean, nah. I, that was not nice. Can we not, clip that out? Nah. That wasn't nice. Wait, nah, the, like, gap, no. the gap? Ain't nothing wrong with the gap. No, you bugging. You just got the visual line. Cut the shit off. Everybody's cute, but I ain't not. I ain't shit wrong with the gap. You right. Ain't he love with the, girls with gaps. Ain't nothing wrong with the gap. He love girls with gaps. I heard girls with gaps give good head. That's just what I heard. I mean, I don't know because I don't, I don't. I don't remember that. I don't even know yours. You know what I'm saying? You is a smart young man. You is a smart young man. You is a smart young All man. All I'm saying, my track record ain't, ain't ain't bad. Yeah, sure. My nigga, you got what? Because if I say it, you're gonna be like, you keep saying. Now people gonna look at me. Go ahead and say it because I'm gonna say some real while back. Go ahead. What? I'm just saying. I think my track record better. Than you. I don't. Shut up. Yep. Yeah. Your boyfriend's okay, but let's be clear for girls, 
you know, what do you pick? Like, you pick, like, I don't think girls, like, I'm cool with dating an ugly nigga. Like, that don't mean nothing to me. So like, when I say my track record for my girlfriends. But I mean, no. Okay. <laughs> like, no. All right. My preference, anyway. So, yeah, back to um, outsourcing advice, advice <laughs> for, because you know we could go real left. Thank you, Alex. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I don't think it's smart. So, I like to take advice. I have a mentor, mm -hmm. and then I like to take advice from all my married friends or the ones who have successful long-term relationships because I feel like it's healthier, and they've gone these courses where it is healthy and had those battles of, you know, going from toxic to healthy and getting rid of, you know, certain things. So they're easier to talk to because they're not as hostile about right. it or as miserable about it. They're just more like, look, it's not going to be easy or it is, you know, this can be easy, this can be hard, or this is what worked for us. They actually have a solution to the remedy. It's not just like opinionated, if it's that makes sense. It's crazy because like the advice I get, I got one from my, my profile. I, uh, I pretty much looked up to him since like from the beginning. He's an older, older dude. And um, I'm saying... He's doing pretty well for himself. He's been married for a long time. And the advice that I got, it was like, basically, I can't give you no advice. <laughs> it's like, you got to make your decision up, but you got to look at these things. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, it wasn't, it didn't ha really have anything to do with my girlfriend or you. It really had everything to do with myself and where I see myself at and understanding that it is a process and you got to make the decision on your own and you got to see what you want. He, he rarely, he didn't say anything about well, does she do this? Right. Well, it's just like, yo, like yeah. you gotta make your decision by yeah. yourself. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stick with it and you gotta really you gotta understand that it's not gonna be easy. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. if this is the one for you, then you know what I'm right. saying? Like walk through it. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like a lot of times that'd be the good advice. But when a nigga start or if a person starts saying, Well, yeah, I don't like this about they try to start like pointing fingers, then it's like maybe it's just too personal and they need to just, you know what I'm saying, live live their own life yeah. and don't get no advice at all. Yeah. So I got my two separate sides of friends, right? So I got my friends that when I when I don't want good opinions, like I don't want good advice. Like sometimes Majority I want to hear your friends, basically. Is that what? Hmm? What's that? No. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. <laughs> what I was trying to say is so I got good friends who's gonna be on my ass like if I come to them they gonna be like nah you was wrong for this but I got the friends that I know for sure that's gonna be like nah bitch yeah because so it depends like the first day I'm gonna go to them first because I need to be justified for some shit first wow. so I'm gonna be like no not really you gotta have the balance like so I need one I need one to be like you know bitch no how you feel is very valid and you know what I'm saying don't let nobody play with you da -da -da. I'm like yeah yeah then a day later when I calm down then I go talk to my level headed friends so they could be like okay so let me tell you why you don't go to them first you though because I need my feelings to be valid first. The fuck? Like, I need to feel, I need to feel valid first. Like, I need, like, because if I feel a way, I'm allowed to feel that way. And I need somebody to be like, no, you're allowed to feel that way. You get what I'm saying? I don't need nobody to be like, don't feel that way. Or no, I need to be able to get my emotions off. It be supported. And somebody is holding my hand through that. And then I can go talk to my level-headed friend where I'm like, you know what? You are right. Because now I done cooled down and I got my feelings off and my friend tended to those feelings that my other friend can get to the gritty and the underlying issue and be like mm -hmm. this is what you need to do period i think you should go to your level here friends <laughs> off books you know what i'm saying because like because you swear i'm wrong if i, all if the time, I, if so I go to my because if i go to my friends that's going i mean i don't really have friends like that honestly niggas love to get the i cap, don't I, no no cap, that is. i got cap, no cap, i got cap. friends that that's like that's with it you know what i'm saying like if i'd be like yo jay I'm about has to friends that is completely they with it, exactly. but they're not like if without without them, even knowing, they'd be nah, like, all right, bet, yeah, bro, yeah, we back, but, but if I go, back the bruh, nah, bro. But if I go to them, if I go to them on some, like, advice shit, they going to give me this some real shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I got my, I got friends that's with it. Like, whatever you with, bro, I'm with it. Like, hands yeah. down. But if I go to my friends and be like, yo, why this and that and this and that happen, they going to be like, uh, Jay, yeah, like, yeah, right. you want some bullshit. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, yeah. that's how they going. But, like, but honestly, though, I don't take advice from a lot of people, though. Yeah. Like, and the reason why is, like I said, like, I know you don't only take advice from who me. Aww, here we talked about that before. That yeah, but you take this advice is about from Tim Tim Guala Guala Malo and number for me. That's not true. What? I don't Maybe even take Timbo advice. Two and all three. Anybody though. who knows me, no, I walk to the beat of my own drum. I, I barely take advice because of the fact is, again, I feel like I'm the only person who can walk in my shoes. Like, and sometimes I don't need. I need to figure it out by myself. Like, I don't need Girl, no you're side. you're in a whole marching band tomorrow. I walk to the beat of my own drum. You're full of I shit. I am my own marching band, Jay. All right, bet. Okay. Period. All right. You cool. just love being combative. You, you No, because you keep trying. You keep trying, and you come back. I love you, babe. You see these now, you niggas love. You look good. You look like motherfucking Sade. Mm-mm-mm. Damn. 
You see me silk on the body. <laughs> you look good, baby. Thank you, baby. And I'm braids tight underneath that. Tight it? Nah, they're actually pretty loose. I need a new set. I just told Monique I need her to redo my braids. Actually, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. don't. Because he's out of pocket. I will be at Yeah, though. I just I just told him. Let me so, tell you about Sade, though. Before we even get to the next one, let me tell you about Sade. He always got a story about me. I swear Every to God. time she feels some type of way, you can you tell by her topics. Like, Alex a call, 12 o'clock on a Saturday. Bow, yo, what's up with the meeting? But we got topics by the bone, by the bang. She'd be like, yeah, so this is how you always know what happened during the week. I want to talk about um, niggas being friendly. Because that, of course, <laughs> during that week, it was an issue of niggas being friendly, right? So here we go on this one. She's I like, thought I that was the point. Bitter, no, bitter, bitter, bitter. Can I have some orange juice? Well, go ahead. Let's go. Let's I, go. I thought that was the point. Right, let's go into what you want to okay. talk about. Okay, so he just did that to kind of try. You was something else, you know that? I see what you just did there, and you're something else. So my talking point is supporting your spouse in their quote unquote rainy season. Wow, rainy season. You know, y'all you, you, heard that new track by Drake, right? Drake said, "What he said? Uh, thirty-three years. I got thirty-three. We like thirty-three mil just for a rainy day." Basically saying it ain't no rainy day. So you see how my girls try to put me out there, like you know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't put thirty three mil up. You, you know what I'm saying? saying like, damn, you see how that's you for a rainy day? Jay is so quick to take things so personal. He swear he's not emotional because first of all, this could be for anybody, even on my end. My point of this actually was because we all have a rainy season. No, you're right. Like I don't care if you ain't no rainy day. No, Fine. It all has a purpose. Yes, but just like the seasons, it gets rainy, so May can have flowers. You talk know what your I'm saying? shit, man. Let's get into this podcast. You better talk your shit. You on your ready? Y'all ready? Man. You feel what I'm saying? Go ahead, man. So the reason why I said this because, like I said, everybody has a rainy season, and it doesn't matter who you're dating. If you're dating a scammer, them cards aren't going to hit all the time. If you're dating a corporate America. Furloughs happen. Um, you know they get laid off. Why big that projects. Be uh, if you're dating a drug dealer, no, you know his packages it. might get lost. I don't fucking know. Your if you're first dating example, a, had to be a scammer because you be dating scammers. When the fuck I had time to date a scammer? I've been dating you for two years. Where where is the scammer? I wish you had some cards. I need some clothes. Period. I want so some a nigga going to see this and DM like, yo, I got some, I got some shit for you. You can get some clothes yeah. on me. Isn't, and I'm gonna just be like, yeah, bet. You know what I'm saying? Can you think you could get something for me and my nigga? I mean, that'll work, that'll work. All right, exactly. That'll so, work. you know, I don't care who you date in, an entertainer, you know, entrepreneurship obviously is not easy. Like, there's always going to be ups and downs to everybody. And I just really think that there's a protocol or how you're supposed to deal with your spouse mm -hmm. when they're in the rainy season. Because what will happen is, even with friendships, like, sometimes somebody's up or down. So somebody's super positive one time, feeling motivated, like, yo, life is, you know what I'm saying? Life is good no matter what's going on. I'm trying to hit the gym. And then you'll have, like, a friend or a spouse that's like, man, shit is fucked up right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know what I feel like doing. And they just not in that That shit will fuck you up, too. Because if you if you doing good, you happy, I'm like, yeah, I'm lit. Then here comes. Debbie motherfucking Debbie Downer. Debbie Downer want to sell your fucking joy. Mildred loves company, boy, I swear. Boy, you be ready. Like, yeah, it's Monday. It's lit. Here she come. I just feel like mm, mm, mm. you keep saying she come. Oh, my bad. You, you said here she come. You, you, that, a, you, you see a, how you talked about how I pick topics? Nah, but you yeah, do I that. feel like your comebacks be real. Babe, you, nah, I was a joke. You say you do that often. You know what I do mean? what? Debbie Downer often no, or you, what? You said she come. You said I do that. You know what I'm saying? You're funny. So, That's all I was point, talking about. point blank, what I'm trying to say is, how do you do in your friendships, spouses, family? Because it happens with family. So, now nah, we're going to talk about you, you and I, you and I. So, All right, you and I. I think, um, honestly, my shit always backfire. Oh, my, every time I have a good judgment, that shit just back. I mean, like, good intention, my shit backfire. So, what happens is, like, I'll be up and, uh, for example, um, rest in peace, God bless the dead. Shout out grandmother passed away or whatever, and, um, she was... Uh, morning and shit and she didn't <clears throat> morning and shit he loved this and shit she too. was morning you know what I'm saying she wasn't in the best of mood right and I'm like look it's gonna be alright you know what I'm saying um, she's in a better place you, you know you, you really can't say anything to right. somebody when they pass right? right so I really just was like yo I'm there as a shoulder to lean on I didn't want to give too much advice because I I recently just experienced like somebody real close to me passing away and I never understood how it felt until then. So that's my mm -hmm. first and only mm -hmm. time in life I've like witnessed somebody mm -hmm. real close to me passing and no amount of words can say anything to pick you up, like nothing. So from my experience, I was just trying to be like a shoulder, you know what I'm saying? So like if she want to talk, I can just regurgitate everything, you know what I'm saying? Reciprocate everything and just and let her speak about it. But as far as advice, it's like, look, you know what I'm saying? I understand it hurt and I want to be here for you, but I don't really have any words to say. 
And I think I think everything when it comes to relationship and when it comes to life, everything just comes back down to expectations because I think that that wasn't the right way for you. And you thought as if like I wasn't kind of being there or, or I wasn't, not that you thought, I wasn't being there in the way that you wanted me to be there, right? It's like your love language, right? So I just think through my way to answer your question, my way to to, to support your loved one in that rainy times is just be there and give them a, a shoulder to lean on and just let them know that, look, I'm here for you. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what But else. what if you're like at a high peak stage at that time and it gets frustrating? Because I think people don't like to admit like it is annoying. Like it's annoying sometimes yeah. when your spouse is dealing with something and right now you're dealing with something completely different that doesn't have nothing to do with that and it's hard to kind of manage both at the same time. So like, for example, <clears throat> like when my grandmother passed, like if I can remember correctly, I remember your mother was also going through something in the hospital, mm-hmm. right? So this time we wasn't, ooh, tunes, that was nice. I like mm-hmm. that. Um, so when my grandmother passed, but Jay's mom was going through something at the time, I didn't know up front though, mm-hmm. right? So I'm mourning, you know, he's trying to be there, but he has to also be there for this. He has his own frustrations. I have my frustrations. And it almost like we ended up getting into a big argument later down mm-hmm. that week because it was clashing because we were both dealing with something and you couldn't bring them to we couldn't bring them together. Right. So like, how does that like? So for example, I'll <clears throat> I'll answer my question. Mm-hmm. So what I think of how you do <clears throat> with your spouse, um, you know, we just went to my friends. Um, I don't like sharing hookah. You're a fucking hog. Fuck sake. So, you know, we just went to my friend's birthday and one of my friends is married and um, a question I asked them, I said, what is one of the most important things you learned at, while being married? Because he's young. <clears throat> he was like, you know, remembering to grow together. Wait, who the fuck is your friend? Elijah Shout huh? out to Elijah Remember, he was sitting across the table from you and he was married, remember? And we was oh, yeah, 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 all right. right. Was, so, I was talking to my friend, he gave me some advice. I'm like, I didn't say nobody name? gave me no advice. All right, uh, right, right. You were sitting right there. So, <laughs> so he was like, you know, remembering to grow together. Um, and I think that's, that's the hardest part. that is really hard part because like at that point we was actually about to do our own growing in our nurturing session, him with his mom and his situation, me and my grandmother and my family situation. We were actually in a stage of growing through a season separately, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I think it's remembering to still grow together at that point because mm-hmm. you know if I straight off and just focused on my family and what I was going through and you know dealing with my grandmother's death and all the emotions I had behind that um without remembering to grow with you I would have never kind of nurtured what you were going through with your mom and your situation and vice versa you focused on your mom and I think at that time you had some stuff going on with your job or something you know like I got <clears> something going <throat> on with my job every fucking day yeah, you're an entrepreneur, but that's my point. Like, so it, it it matters when you're up, but it also matters when you're also going through your other your own thing and your spouse is going through their thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think the key point for me is remembering to grow together. So you got to nurture yourself, but then you got to get yourself in a place so that you can come back and nurture your partner. But what about like I think honestly, um, again <clears throat> I think I talked about this last week. <clears throat> One of my, my my OGs was saying that um. One of my OGs was saying, he's saying you got to speak in the mic, babe. You know what I'm saying? I'm not up there. I'm good. Hello? Okay. <clears throat> but somebody was saying how financial stability is second to, well, actually, fidelity comes second to financial stability in relationships mm-hmm. because a lot of times you go through things because your finances isn't there, and that's the frustrating right. matter right, right there. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I think um, a lot of times... Or, or even not equating it to directly financial, but just stability wise mm-hmm. of just life. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because I don't think it's always a money thing, but money, because money, you know, I heard a good manager I had one time told me that money, you know, isn't everything, but it does cure at least 90% of your problems, Nigga, right? What? Any situation. Well, at the same time, I, I agree with that, but I feel like you shouldn't be, as your man, right? Or as just your partner, we're partners. So you don't have to hold back. You don't have to hold anything. And you can, you can tell me, and for as example, your partner, I'm supposed to have your back and understand that you're yeah. like, you ain't raining my But friend. what I mean it's is, just... like, remember, like, on my birthday, at my brunch, like, mm-hmm. you had a situation that happened. Oh, yeah, with, I didn't say nothing. And you didn't say nothing. You yeah. found out at my but birthday. that's me. But I'm not saying, what I'm saying is yeah. I agree with yeah, that, yeah, though. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's something that I'm learning is, like, you know, if, I, if I'm if i going through a serious emotion to myself and, like, say Jay is up and he just got a new gig and he's happy about it, but I found out some news, like, sometimes you got to assess the situation properly. Or that's why friends, and it goes 
listen to like advice, right? That's why friends are so important. Like that's why I was telling you about the importance of the chat of us having a chat without about men with girlfriends, right? right. A lot of times you can speak. You gotta have no. They say you shouldn't talk to your friends about things that's going on because that's why you have a therapist because your friends can't really relate. So like if you have an issue with, like hypothetically, I got an issue with you directly. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't go to you trying to get um some clarification or come to a I forgot I don't word. agree with that no nah, so look but because what happens is if I come to you I'm coming trying to tell you my feelings you're going to as a human the first thing you want to do is defend yourself showing me how that's not the case when I just want to get it out my chest so it's good to have somebody you can just talk to to that, vent to so what's happening what happens, okay that I agree right that so I like agree. for example yeah. I think I told Alex that day. Mm-hmm. So I didn't necessarily keep it to myself. Yeah, yeah, so it wasn't you let like, it off. You yeah, let you know it what I'm saying? So you I had somebody off. to go to be like, yo, Alex, look at this shit. I think I showed him at that moment. I'm like, yeah. look at this. It's some bullshit, right? Yeah. But if I didn't have an Alex, it probably would have been built up and I probably wouldn't, yeah. have, I wouldn't, able, I wouldn't have been yourself. able to enjoy your birthday. Because what I say is, baby, you did a, such a good job. Like, Jay, we had, I still had a great birthday. He was very present. We had a great time. And I did not know until the next day. And I was like, oh, my God, you didn't even tell me. Yeah, because, I, again, I had somebody to, to yeah. confide in. Like, yo, yeah. look at this shit. We got it off. And yeah. it, was, it was it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But if I didn't have that, that's why I think yeah. friends are so important. Because yeah. if you don't have that somebody to go to yeah. when your partner isn't present, and it's nothing against them. It's yeah. just somebody yeah. that you can let that off. Yeah, and that just goes back to like your topic, like just saying like, is it okay to get advice? I think it's okay to get advice if you have, like you said, that confidant that's, you know, level-headed enough to not like, you know, depending on the advice, but you can talk to without it being like some bias situation. What the fuck do you have this eyes on for? Bro. What? Sade. I'm full of shit. Is a walking what? contradiction. Why? It was one time, I swear, like I walked into her, I walked into her her topic, and she's like, you didn't even let me, you didn't even let me go into my own topic, like, and now she walking into my topic, First and part, I ain't mad. Hold on, Hunter, but hold on, honey. I ain't mad. Let me tell you how you are a walking out just thing, because you already had your topic. I didn't walk into your topic. I went backwards. My topic is second. So what are you talking about? Bay. What? Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Period. <laughs> you got it right. right. Okay. I apologize. All right. Well, I got to. I can apologize. Appreciate it. I did you. go first. So I know you don't like when I do this. It is time for this or that. You don't like that? Go ahead. It's fine. Okay. Boom. You don't like that? It's go- it's okay. Fine. So this or that, as you know, what I'll do is I'll ask a couple questions just to get to know a little more about Jay, not myself. I think I kind of pretty know Jay, but not no Jay. I don't know. This is for the people who want to know Jay. So this or that, I'm just going to ask you some questions, you know. She just made this shit um, up. What? She didn't take no time to this. Go ahead. Yes, I did. All right, go ahead. Okay, so today I did not work as hard on my this or that as I normally do, but I do got some, okay? All right, go ahead. So you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Mind your business. Okay. And would you rather... An older partner or a younger partner? Your age. If it wasn't us, like in general, what's the preference? Older or younger? What's um, what's like? Boy, the fuck. What do you consider yourself as? I'm 22. Younger. <laughs> Would you rather an introvert or an extrovert? Introvert. Why? Because I'm an extrovert. We need some. We need some balance. Need what do you think balance. I am? You're definitely an extrovert on the low. You, you swear so? you're an introvert though, but you're actually no. So I'm introverted, but I'm extroverted to the people I like. Period. Right. Okay. Okay. So would you rather? That's not a good one. Oh hell no! Nah. I thought I got devils. rid of y'all. Oh my god! I thought I got rid of y'all. Uh uh-uh. uh, the, the squad has came in here. They're getting chips. Yo, I swear to God, I went to the grocery store, got these kids some food. These kids eat all day. Oh, I snap, swear. snap! Come on. That's why I like lately. See how she just got the like. She just got the. Food. And it, it's always my. <laughs> it's always gotta be a my. Hurry up, man! She's Get just out. like her mother. God damn. Why are you rushing me? Oh my gosh, man! These kids are motherfucking devils. Yo, they. What are they, they going home? <laughs> Amaya, get the step in. <laughs> oh my Take God. Take the cake with you, my... Yo. 
Y'all came up to right, make bye, bye, sandwiches. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. See you later, see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, y'all can make a sandwich in like don't, a Don't let the door minutes. hit you with a good little split you. Get to stepping. All right. God so, damn. would you rather, if we weren't together, okay. live alone or with your partner? By myself. Why? It's peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? It's, you said if we weren't together. I know, but what's peaceful? By, I can like, wake up and wake up and just wake up. <laughs> it's just yeah, I, like I just wake up, open my eyes, smell the good breeze and your sunshine. So when you have somebody that's no good breeze or no sunshine? You wake up and it's just like, uh, you. Wow. So, you say and we know together. I'm I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Ooh. There he go. Acting like he drinking Hennessy again, y'all. Okay. Um guys. You don't be drinking. I, I feel like I'm on third class. Should be my Come on, pour me up then. The fuck? Shout out. Right. Yeah, I did so bad this time. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I got something for you, baby. All right, come on. You know this is where part of te- teamwork is at. Okay, good because yeah. I had kids in here all weekend, guys. I didn't even do my this. <laughs> this was really. Terrible. Alex laughed at me earlier, but Terrible. look, I still had a couple questions. Right. Beyonce or Rihanna? Ooh, I'm gonna say Rihanna because I'm a you know I'm an island girl to the fullest, you know. All right, college dropout or get rich or die trying? Get rich or die trying. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, so grew we up go- on. If you say you a wangster, okay, you know right. what I'm saying, but you never, you got to be kidding me. Drake or Jay Z? <sighs> Y'all about to be mad at my answer. I'm picking Drake every second. Fucking idiot. Period. Can you pass me the orange? I'm picking Drake every second. I'm sorry. I'm picking Drake every second. She want to fuck d- Drake so bad. I don't want to fuck Drake. Like, I just am Drake. Me and Drake think the same. What? If you were Drake, then that Everybody would got me- the whole Rock Nation signs up. I feel ya. I definitely fuck with Jay-Z heavy, but I am a Drake product. Like, I grew up with Drake. Like, we're like twins. Hey, babe, if you had a, um, if you had a, a, a hall pass, right? Okay. Come on, tell me, because I got one. <laughs> Come on. If you had a hard pass. Right. And you got a chance to do it, sir, or be with one celebrity for the night, who would it be? You. Thought he was going to catch me slipping, <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thought he was going to catch me slipping. You the celebrity, baby. Uh, right, Mr. J. Hill, here. look at him blushing. Look get at him blushing. Get get yeah. <laughs> that was too easy. Fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Well, ask me, ask me. <laughs> <laughs> We two different people. All right. If you had a hall pass and you got to pick one celebrity to fuck, who are you going to do? Who are mm. you going to pick? Let me think. Let me go on my phone real quick. Hey, you're both. Yeah, I got to check my OnlyFans subscriptions. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, about OnlyFans. Okay. So, I have. I just want to ask this really quickly before we go into Jay's thing, right? Mm-hmm. You don't pay... F- I can't even say what I'm trying to say. God damn, it's always kids in here. I only got one. It's like 12 of these motherfuckers. <laughs> Jesus. If you... Okay, not if you... Can your you spouse don't... whip your, uh, that stepchild? Hell yeah, whip that little girl. Because this is a motherfucker. So I'm hard on... But like, so I'm not the best disciplinary. <laughs> so I don't... You know, am I might <laughs> give me the face. I'm like... Mm, unless she done really pissed me off. Oh, no, I'll go ahead. My bad. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Amaya, you're doing too much. You better get punished. I swear on my life. <laughs> I swear on my life. Hit the dough. Lock it. Lock it. Please. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, one hall pass. One hall pass. One hall pass. Mm-hmm. Who you picking? Um, Not for real. I want to know. Just mm-hmm. in case. I missed something or something. I ain't picking nobody. What? What the fuck? That's not how this game goes. No, I'm dead ass, though. You said Why one hall pass? That's not a this or that. One hall pass, I probably don't pick nobody. Why? First of all, because I'm smarter than that. Okay. To know that a hall pass ain't a hall pass. Okay. Um, second of all, we could choose somebody together. All right, who are we picking? You have to choose. I'm going to go with you. All right, go you with paid you. attention to zero, one, four. Okay. There we go. Not that as though. But you know, I don't do celebrity crushes, though. <laughs> you know that, though. You know yeah, that. You, you I don't that. do celebrity I don't do celebrity crushes either. You though. love fucking Drake. But I, be not. As a crush, though, me and Drake are like Siamese twins. You that can't tell no us apart. Sense she's lying. You get what I'm saying? You can't tell us apart. Me and my niggas so tell you can't tell us apart. You feel what I'm saying? That's Drake and I. Right, you We're it. not. Move on. You know, lusty. Um, 
not lusty or so we moving on? So yeah, we... come on, it's your turn. All right, so look, um Okay. What uh, would you do? All right. If your spouse had a major opportunity, right? Okay. He got offered, let's say, a million dollar deal. Okay. And he turned it down. Okay. <laughs> would you be upset if he turned it down? What's the status of our bills? Our status. What's, what's our status of our bills? Our status. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? Our status. What is wrong with you? And why'd you turn it down? Mm. Huh? Mm. Let's say it just wasn't the right. It wasn't the right situation for me. So we broke. But do I have to tell you that? Do I, if I if I get offered, if I get offered, do you have the, to tell? Why wouldn't yeah, you tell me? I mean, because maybe that's my business. That's my. You tell me all your opportunities. Mm. Why wouldn't you tell me so you, you got a million dollar deal? You expect me to to tell you? Yeah, we talk about all your gigs and upcoming gigs. Why wouldn't you tell me? Hmm. And why would you turn down a million dollars? And what's in the contract that made you not turn turn down a million dollars? Is it like detrimental? Is it like death row records or something? Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Well, that's fair. I need understanding though. So you I, gotta I, tell I, me. I will have to tell you though. I need the understanding. Yeah, if it's our status of bills, <laughs> I need to know why we don't have the million dollars. Because right. who were you thinking? I was just curious. Yeah, tell me. So, so let's go to this real quick. You okay. said, um, you said the step parent can beat the stepchild. Step parent, yes, like step parent, like permanent parent in the house. Um, I don't just you know dating or like light new relationships no 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 but like longevity headed towards marriage stepchild married what's too yes. far though what do you mean too far is like like a, a beating like a beating is a belt or like a smack in the hand okay so i you know i i i uh i beat my with a belt but she doesn't get a lot of beatings though like my gets a beating like once every year or something so you know, being, but I'm very precise because, like, you know, my mom used to whip my motherfucking ass, belt buckles, sh fucking pants, whatever she could find. Like, me, I never personally thought to do that with my child. So, like, I'm belt, so you don't but, in corporate but punishment. halfway, but, and down. Like, you okay. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm right. not like a, like a don't, you know, I think, you know what's funny? Um, One time, I, my daughter's dad, like, popped her in her head, and I had a fucking f fit. Mm. Like, cause I think that's so. Don't my daughter's not no idiot. Like, don't smack no. Like, I went. Like, you wouldn't smack me in my head. But how like, do you feel like? Don't about, don't smack nobody. Don't you smack about, nobody in the head. Like, how that's you feel about rude. Parents intervening in the relationship with the child and the step parent in that relationship. For example, like when um when uh like when <laughs> Amaya still is walking through. So, Amaya wants to be in. Yeah, Amaya don't watch the podcast for y'all that's looking or listening. Cause well, she might. We just don't be here. She probably do. That's actually what I wanted to talk about, though. What? How you? No, we're gonna say that. So um, there yeah, you are. How are you just going? Now we saving that. We just saving. wait. Or just no, no, no. Like, we like, saving. Alex, we're get your that was about to be a like, good one. Like, Alex, why would I thought we were saving that? Here he go about to. He just couldn't help himself. Like, come I, on. I'm, he's just. I'm three yeah, glasses we're, in. Three. Damn, you drank the. Oh my god, bro. You ain't even drink what you had. I'm about to drink the rest. I needed some more to mix it with. Shout out to Luke Belair. Stop babysitting. Go stop babysitting. Wow. So um, but nah um. Okay, what about when if parents intervene in in how they treat the stepchild? Like remember when Amaya was cursing and I made a drink that shot of tomato sauce. <laughs> Amaya cussed and Jay definitely gave her a shot of tomato juice. And she did not like it. And, oh, no, I thought it was lit. Oh, my mom did. She was like, I no, don't like that. Like, he don't like. Well, my mom don't like. It's crazy. My mom used to beat the shit out of me, but you can't do nothing to her grandbaby, which is really fucking opposite. I've never seen nothing like it. You can't do shit to her grandchild. Don't beat her. Don't pop her. I don't care what she did. So my mom didn't like that Jay gave Maya tomato juice when she cussed as a shot. Big shot. Um, I think he gave her like three. Big shot. <laughs> I thought it was the best lesson possible. Cause I wouldn't have thought of that. And I was like, oh yeah, give her the tomato juice. You would add grow here. What was it called? A what shot. Was it called? Uh, oh, Mary. he gave her a bloody Mary. Yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah, at 10. Yeah, <laughs> like she did not like that. Um, but it was also because Jay took away her crab legs. Yeah. That's why my mom got, cause Jay was like, no crab leg, no steak, no nothing. You get French fries. Paid him full style. Paid him full style. Yeah. So my mom was like, he took away her crab legs and gave her a bloody Mary shot. Oh, hell nah. You, get, you, you know, so. French fries. 
Um, I look so like I think like okay, so when you're in a relationship, I think you have to have that talk of like the boundary talk, like mm -hmm. especially when you have kids. Like you know, I think me and Jay were also always very straightforward on disciplinary with the Maya. Like you know, if I feel like anything is, I'll just tell him like you know, or how we should, or you know, he kind of just lets me know like this is what I'm about to do, or like you know what I'm saying. But I trust him in a way that I know he's not like abusive or I know he's not so actually when my mom mentioned it to me I actually got really upset with her because I was like first of all don't ever think anybody's around me that I'll let do anything disruptive to my child that's mm. never going to happen you know what I'm saying shout out to Janae in a building patiently polished she just did my nails yesterday you know I wish I could zoom in on my nails because I got a whole black nail tech and she light we'll and she nice out here so period and post we got passionately oh, he got patiently him. polished you mm -hmm. heard my girl on the nails. She hey, does yo, pull up that? Travel Bay here. Why we on that before we get into the uh, bullshit and the trending topics and shit? Shout out to Luke Belair. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course. Sponsored by one and only Luke Belair, Black Bottle Boys, Official Belair. Shout out to them. Shout out to Catch 22. Catch 22. And Tim is here. Yeah, the Catch owner of Catch 22 Hookah is, actually, is here. He's actually in the building. Yes. Yeah, so um, at Catch 22 Hookah. We both got on Milani. We do. Shout out to Milani, the brand. I love this t shirt. This is like one of my favorite t shirts. So let's go. Let's trying to topic it. Yeah, let's go to it. We here. Where we at with it? We at um, <laughs> Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson versus Michael Blackson. Right, Ooh. So I'll read it off. So, no, 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 no. No, I could do. You know, what I'm saying I'm an exceptional reader. You oh, know, I'm yeah. the reader that they call on in class. Like read, <laughs> no stuttering. Okay, hopefully I don't stutter because I've been drinking oh, yeah. champagne. Now I'm about to get upset. Wait, so, what? Okay, so Mike Tyson did not hold back on Michael Blackson after the comedian jokingly DM'd him offering to marry his daughter in exchange for $10 million. It would seem that, of all people, you'd want to get on Mike Tyson's bad side. The boxer would not think twice about what the fuck before pummeling anyone to the ground who messes with him or his family. But it looks like Michael Blackson was willing to take that risk like an idiot for the sake he, that wasn't in there. I just added that in there, by the way. Um, but for this, but it looks like, where was I? Michael Blackson was willing to take that risk for the sake of the com comedy. In a since deleted Instagram post, the comedian shared a screenshot of the headline that reads, Mike Tyson is ready to pay $10 million to any guy who marries his daughter with the photo of Tyson and his daughter, Mike Lorna, Mikey Lorna Thompson. Wait, his daughter's name is Mikey? Can we talk about, what the fuck? Why is his daughter named Mikey? Are you, it's Mikey? I guess. Okay. While the article doesn't look too legit, Michael Blackson was down for the offer. In the caption, he wrote, where's she at, though? <laughs> I'll tear her ass up and go shopping. Plus, she's kind of cute. Hey, this nigga Michael Blackson is a funny guy. He'll tear that ass up. He, 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 first of all, I just want to say that they, for $10 million, I mean, who are you willing to date? You. You so smart. $10 million? So smart. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna lie. So. No, 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 no. I ain't no, gonna no, lie. No, no, I think, I think, um, we dated together. She was big enough to the share. The big girl? I'm sorry. Let I'll me tell you one something. Half, you take another there's, half. There's, there's a lot of things I will not do for money, and that is including dating somebody. F I'm not going to say that on camera, because I was about to say something. Girl, really you crazy. Nice. I'm diving all. Nigga, balls deep in that fat ass for ten million. Fat with a I'm capital F A T. I'm swimming. Or capital in it. P H A T. Girl, I'm swimming. I know it wasn't Where? true. For ten million? For ten mil Girl, you bugging. Ooh, I'm I lifting just, the whole when thing I think, up like this. When, <laughs> when, when I think of that, I think of like ten million dollars. When I think of that, like let me tell you something about 10 me, right? Million. So when I think about big girls, I think about stinky undersweat titties. Man, like, I'm, I don't. I'm washing as I go. Uh, scrub, scrub, scrub. Lick, lick, lick. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Lick, lick, lick. That's scrub, disgusting. scrub, scrub. Stick, stick, stick. You're bugging. You're buck ten million dollars. Stick, stick, stick. Jake, ten the million dollars. Right I'm spelling that alphabets in that pussy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm counting up. Oh, I you buck ten million dollars. Ten million, babe, ten million dollars. Anyway, the post was actually fake. Okay, it wasn't a real. He was not offering anybody ten million dollars to date his daughter. I think that's pretty degrading of any dad to think that they could pay somebody else to date their fat ass daughter. But you know, period. So, Michael Blackson, he out of pocket. You scared of Mike Tyson? You make jokes with Mike Tyson? I make Mike jokes. I make jokes with Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson said he gonna fuck him up when he see him. You that think nigga can't catch me? Fuck you, you think Mike, you think he can't catch you? Fuck no, he like fifty. You want to do? I'm outrun his ass. Floyd, See, you think Floyd can't catch you? Floyd is like five three. 
Can he catch you? I'm not going to run, I don't think. Where are you going to go? I fuck around, fight for it. <laughs> Jay said he's going to fucking fight. You going to fight Floyd? Floyd, I fuck around, fight him. I'm going to hit him with a chair or some shit. <laughs> he's like 5'3". He's like a midget. Jay, you really, you, I mean, Bae. you like 5'3". Like, just kidding. <laughs> That was a joke. So Michael Blackson, that he <laughs> come on, let's drink, drink. Come on, let's let's, let's ignore the joke. Come on. I fucking hate short jokes. <laughs> My dick six two though. So fuck is you talking about? He five eight. Floyd five eight. Your size. What the fuck is you talking about? Me, I still probably fight for it. Niggas think they could fight I anybody, probably get knocked boy. Out, but I'm a Niggas go Q and think they could fight anybody, boy. I swear to God, these frat boys be different, son. Anyways, Michael Blackson is an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, he's all right, an idiot. What else? What what like that? That's what is only fan shit. So look, I, we can talk about it now. My, my homies was like, nah, don't talk about it on a, on a, on a podcast. Keep so you secret. paying for OnlyFans, but you ain't paying for porn? We ain't talking about that. Because we don't have to pay for it because the leak came out. We got all the folders of everybody. But I thought they took the link down. They did. Oh, but at the time. So did you get into somebody who's OnlyFans? I got wow. into like 20 of them. You was looking. Who they was? Because, you know, they be regular people. Who you was in? Well, fame shit is bullshit. Let's, let's clear the air. What? Fame. What about it? Her shit was phony. Who the fuck is fame? You know fame? <laughs> this Damn. is what's crazy. Anybody else know fame in here? Tim knows fame. Anybody else knows Fami here? Y'all nasty as fuck, boy. I swear to God. She's an Instagram model. Okay, so what about her? Her She's shit was weak. her shit was fluke. Her shit was weak. And she had niggas paying how much to get in there? She probably had niggas paying like twenty. How much is her shit? But y'all not paying for porn. So this is my thing, right? What's her Instagram? Niggas not paying for porn. You can find porn everywhere. It's all over Twitter. Some niggas it's got premium. Over... Some niggas got premiums. Pre premium. How much is the premium? Um, on Pornhub, like what? Nineteen ninety nine, maybe. Like ten. Oh, yeah, no, no, huh? Yeah, no, we watch niggas, porn. Niggas, no, no. And it comes with, like, niggas mad have, advertisement. Pay for premium, get more videos. You get to see, you get to see, uh, what's this shit called? Um, Brad, Brazzers. What the fuck is it called? You get to see Brad. That shit look crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That shit look crazy. Tear that ass off. Put the Brazzers on there. Go to Brazzers.com. Oh, right hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> go to Brazzers. Alex said this is a church laptop. <laughs> Alex said this is a church friendly laptop. Right, right, we ain't right. putting no porn on here. Hold on, let me see. Let me here see, he go. Of course, see. he real quick. Let's put on Brazzers. I want to see some shit right now. Nah, this shit go crazy. Oh. Nah, you don't like this shit. Look, look. I don't like this shit. I don't even like porn, which is the crazy thing. Could I you don't. date somebody that don't like porn? I don't. You date? I, what the fuck? I ain't talking about you. Oh. I was asking my audience. Anybody could date somebody who don't like porn? Yeah. yeah I love this service dance. Yeah, this is, I'm getting refilled. Who can say I'm what? Catch 22 in the building. Anyway. You know, getting the hooker together. I fucking love it. Um, could it. You want to bullshit. You know that. Money, right? could you date somebody who don't like porn? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Alex? Yeah. Okay. They probably don't watch porn. Okay. I know. Right. I don't watch porn either. It's weird. I never liked porn. Like, so how, like you, get I, your, how you get your thing off? You go under. You take I don't watch shower? myself. You take like, it. I don't know. Well, we never made a video. Else. We never Period. made a video. We never made a video. You won't never ask. You want one? Say less. We got three trap ads right here. We can make. <laughs> fuck you mean? We can make a movie easy. You put it on. We can, we can make our own OnlyFans. Bet. Say less. Say less. So, you, so, so would you? I don't want an OnlyFans. Why though. not? We can make money. Niggas is making money from OnlyFans. Because you'd cry if, if niggas get it like Jay bitch ass was up there. Jay bitch was up there, ass was. <laughs> look, 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 he's already tight just thinking about it. I knew he's full of shit. He don't want to make no even, fucking OnlyFans. I don't even like none of these topics. <laughs> I'm just looking at it like, I just don't care. Like, Michael Thomas is talking about what's in another nigga pockets with Tony Romo. Talking about he, Tony Romo make more money than. Uh, Thank you, Tim. Make more money than. I don't even care. Well, where we at, Alex? Where we at? What time? Where we at? Boom. We good? We good. I, I don't care about none of this shit. All right, well, you hey, know. Hey, what, what, what did we want to try to go into? We wanted to try to go into, like, um, the topic, the, the end. This the shit, shit boy. Oh, yeah. What's next? Okay. What you looking forward to? Yeah. Which, okay, let's, try, let's try it. All right, let's try it. All right. What you looking forward to? Motivation of the week. So, y'all. That's not motivation. Say, but we, this is what I'm looking thing. forward to. Thing, so I'm going to go into mine is motivation. So, y'all, here's the thing. I'm getting older. I'll be 30 this year. And 
my waist is not what I want. So I've been complaining about it and I don't like to complain three times without finding a solution. If you complain more than three times and you don't find a solution, you are just a Debbie Downer. Mm -hmm. So my fat ass is going to be in the jet. I like it. You know, when, when I say, well, hold on. When I do say fat ass, it's because that's ass fat, not because I'm fat. But my fat ass is going to be in the gym because I need to get, you hearing me, gym fits on the body and put my waist trainer on. You already know. I'm going and with I'm you. in there. I'm going to go with you. You coming with me? I'm going to go with We're you. We're going today. All right, bet. I told them I was going today. I was All supposed right. to go yesterday. There's too many goddamn kids in here. But today I'm in there. All right. I'm a, that's my motivation for the week. Gym. Oh, I also told Jay that I wanted to try a week vegan. He's not really with the shit. Keep that negativity over there, please. Um, when so here's the thing. I <laughs> I just said a week because I wanted to try it. I found a Jamaican-based, plant-based kind of thing. And it had jerk and curry and it was all plant-based. You feel what I'm saying? What's up, Monique? I'm planning to put it together because I want to try a week vegan. If I like it, I'm going to try two weeks. If I really do well, I'm going to try a month. And we're going to try to ease our way Keep all that into food. vegan. It's not no foo -foo. fucking fufu because I don't even eat fufu. All right, all right, whatever. I never even tried fufu. That's good. I'm not even African. I'll try, I'll try a week with you. You like fufu? I I'll never try. had it. I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? It looks good. Look, Africa, all the Caribbean foods are typically the same, for real. So I, I, I'm not opposed to it. I'll try a week with you. Are you going to try a week? So the goal is gym <clears throat> and it's a transition into this vegan lifestyle. What's up? I, don't know. I need my mind, body, and soul right all 2020. You hearing me? That's my goal. All right, so my goal for this week is to uh, go two rounds. I haven't gone. I, I feel like I like once. Like you know what I'm saying, once the first week is over, we don't need to go two rounds no more. It's just like Jay's sleepy ass. I go one round, I'm good. I'm saying we you get it done. You get it. Get but it I don't done. even like. I told you I don't even like long sex though. If it's long, it's something wrong with me. <laughs> Period. <laughs> so you know it's cool. It's one round is cool, baby. Nah, cause we if we you gotta think about it, yo. We used to tell them making the video. Let's we're picture not this. picture us making a video, right? I go to look at the video and the video two minutes long. I'm like, whoa, I'm be mad as shit. Like, whoa, this ain't like, niggas gonna waste their money on OnlyFans. We're like, we can't was, upload this shit. Like, it don't even meet the upload requirements. It's like ten minutes. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like ten minutes to upload. Niggas go like, upload restriction must be ten minutes. <laughs> We're gonna have to put That's, six weeks of videos I'm try, together. I'm gonna I'm 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 try. I'm gonna try to do that. So, I brought I brought the uh. The motherfucking uh, what's, what's, He's the, really what's the pill? Scared. I brought the pill in his. Like, First of all, gonna take that. let me tell you something. What this nigga bought an ant pill. I swear to God, I'm a smack. What was it called? It's like an ant pill or something, right? Like the Rondo. I look, have... look at this nigga pig. Nigga's <laughs> 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 not. Here, here we go. So I just want to let people know the pill is still in the drawer. I don't trust the pill. So this is my. It said it was all natural. This is my fair of the pill. Like what he's not going to be do is crying for fucking two days because his dick won't go down. And I'm not. You're not about to fucking. Man, I'm trying to pounce on that pussy like fucking, Shaq on the rim. Ugh. You're not about to fucking tarnish my pussy because you are hard for two days. Like I don't. That shit's not natural. I don't give a fuck what it says. This shit got horny goat weed in it and all type of different shit. And I was just like. What? I, 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 like, we're not doing I ain't gonna that. Lie, I ain't gonna lie, yo. <laughs> Double standards is real. Yeah, he don't like when I say it. Like, <laughs> you know, like, like it was, even with the threesome thing we talk about, like, once you say it, it's like, uh, all right. So, like, I could talk about. Once we say it, it's like, damn, I, I am a nasty I, nigga. I can tell that. Jay, I can talk, so talk, talk about beating a pussy up. But then once my girl start talking about her pussy, beating the pussy mad up. people in the room, uh, like, uh, 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 uh. All right. Make sure you subscribe <laughs> to the Gemini Scorpio podcast on you YouTube, Instagram, know. all that. You know. You, you know just, the vibes. The team is here. Is Pig is here. Nobody's picturing anything, Jay. What about when you were gonna? I'm looking under the city. Lick, lick, lick. Stick, stick, stick. Like the fuck is you talking about? Fat ass. I'm in there drawing letters. Here I am, big bitch. Let's go. Like fuck out of here. I am writing a cursive in a pussy. I mean, All right. You, you Episode gotta, zero you gotta sign one. That shit in cursive. Episode zero one five. The team is here. Pig's here. Monique's here. Alex here. Jules here. We got Catch Twenty Two in the building. Patiently polished in the building. We here. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to the um to the YouTube. Make sure you uh support the font, the um shit on anchor.fm. You already you know. Ninety nine cents to ninety nine. Ninety nine cents to nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Or ninety nine ninety nine. Make sure you purchase a catch twenty two. <laughs> a thousand uh, if you will. <laughs> Facts, man. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Follow me at Mr. Underscore J Hill M R you know underscore J A Y H I L O. Healer Bay, H E A L E R B A E underscore period. Zero one five, man. That's a wrap. Peace.